This is my meal. I call this girl dinner. Girl, girl, dinner. girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Hello, dearest. Are you aware of how powerful you are? Do you know what magical things you can accomplish? Well, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But I know, and I am here to remind you today who you are. So, ladies and ladies, I invite you to this girl dinner. I also invite people of every gender who are kind and open to listening to it, allies, men who do not fear expressing, not holding on to traditional patterns that are no longer serving them. Tonight uh, I will tell you a story, well many stories, while you're eating your meal having a glass of your favorite beverage and hanging out with your most faithful friend, the moon. We have a full moon, we have a full blue moon in the sky watching us, charging us like the sun does, but in a more mystical way. It brings out our true feelings and makes us more in tune with them and with us, with ourselves. It's difficult to express your, ourselves in this world because we have been taught to do the actual opposite. Show nothing but a fearless face. Knowing that strength is when you remain silent and go through life without showing your weaknesses. But what if I told you that the true strength is showing up every day in the mirror and in front of others and letting them know of these weaknesses? Because a weak, a weak person is the one who hack, who, who, sorry, who backs off and lets the ego self work and that's the main problem in our society and in this institution. We know each other's egos and uh, we play mind games with each other. The reason for this is because we are afraid of it. We are afraid of each other and it's a survival instinct. I get it. That's why we've been taught to hide ourselves from one another, forgetting that we are all one being. People, animals, trees, flowers, bees, nature, you know the drill, the universe, and yeah. So yeah, this is a woman's view of the world. <laughs> My view of the world. Women, women hold this knowledge and that is why we, that is why they show their emotions, we show our emotions. That's why men think that uh, we are too emotional maybe uh, sometimes, and sometimes feel that we ask too much from them. But I know that if you give a woman one thing, one wand, one sword, one pentacle, one cup she will multiply it and give it back to you a billion times bigger stronger this is her power and she will never give up hope she will fight till the end till she realizes that she needs to let go and women prefer to work in communities this is another thing that um, i've learned these years that we work in communities, we care about each other, share everything, we don't care about hierarchies and stuff like that. We want to build something solid all together, uh, nurture one another because 
you know, women know no pain. Every month, every year. They have faced it for so many centuries, both internal and external pains, you know, you know. <laughs> They've been told that uh, they are witches, demons, only because there is nothing in this world that can scare them. And um, let me remind you that Eve was the one, according to a very old book that a man probably wrote, that gave Adam the apple, the knowledge, the truth. And that man, you know, was right. That man who wrote the book. But he, he meant it in a, in a bad way. Knowledge is a bad thing for people in power, always was, like, for, you know, for them it's fine to have, to have the knowledge, for us it's not. Uh, the more you know about the self, the more powerful you become, and no one can take this away from you. People in power try to control others in many ways. They want people to be afraid of the unknown and know just a little bit of it. Religion was the first way of control, I think. Schools don't really help us learn how to live. They want us to learn how to behave, be the good boy, good girl. Be the good girl, right? I was for many years the good girl. I abide by the rules. I was obligated to do things. And don't show my real face, masking myself. So be the good girl, right? Uh, a maid, a therapist, a mother, and that's it. Serve the man, don't ask too much. But, you know, throughout my 32 years of living, I have realized that women are true rebels they fight back. This is another thing that I, I've learned um, about myself and other women. We fight. <laughs> um, now, back to the Garden of Eden. There was a girl, you know, before Eve, they say. Her name is Lilith. She has been called many nasty names too. Of course, a demon, right? Satan's bride. Satan's bride, hmm, yeah. A mother uh, of monsters. Um, her daughters are witches, snow queens, fairies, sirens of the sea, magical creatures that lure you into dangerous paths, entice you with their voices so that they can make a girl dinner out of you. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, so many stories, poems, and songs have been written for them throughout the world. In ancient Greece, hiding in the forests and in the sea, um, you know, um, waiting for men to devour, you know. <clears throat> but, you know, men had to put wax in their ears to avoid being killed by them. Another story would be like uh, Medusa's story. Medusa was a monster that turned people into stone. You know this part of the story, but no one told you that she was one of the victims. It was God Apollonas that did some bad things to her. Uh, but no one told you she was his victim. She was one of his victims, actually. And I wonder what she was wearing. What was she wearing, right? It was her fault, obviously. Yeah. She was asking for it. <laughs> so she's not known as the, uh, the hero. She is the villain. Um, yeah. So yeah, eat your dinner, 
Spoil yourself, my little villain witch. Build your crystal palace or your candy house. I will make a visit with the girls and invite you in an adventure. <laughs> Maybe go to brunch or something, you know. I miss brunches with you. Okay, so, as you can probably tell, this girl dinner is special. There is a reason for that. Last week, I went to the Modern Museum in Stockholm, my amazing city, Stockholm, uh, and I was supposed to make a podcast uh, of it, but uh, I was very nervous and I had so many things to say because I walked around women that were depicted in uh, in Monica Hu's Hu's paintings. I, I can't pronounce the name correctly, I'm sorry. It's a Swedish name. Uh, I was very, I was overwhelmed because Monica is an amazing artist and she has a very powerful way of showing some certain situations and some things that women did or were done to them uh, or whatever that she has check her out okay so Monica was an artist a rebel a feminist an activist and a mother I'm sure I'm sure that um, she was many more things many were she had many qualities she fought not only for women's rights but also for nature she was from Sweden Swedish people have um, a very good relationship with nature you know they respect it because they know that it's our home some people to say these things, that they're so obvious, but some people only take advantage of nature and don't really pay attention to eat, to nature's needs. It's, uh, you know, it's like an ignorant man, for instance, right? Taking advantage of the woman's powers, only for his benefit, I might say, letting her fade after that, cry on the couch, absorb the pain. Little does this ignorant pawn know that this girl will claim her power back, stand up, pack her bags and her plants, do her laundry and fold her clothes, because she's awesome, yes yeah, she is, and find another way, not only to survive, but live, experience and love. True nature, true nature, true love, I, I thought, yeah, true nature of woman. It's the nature of woman, yeah. But it's true love that she's searching for, true love uh, in friends, family, um, special ones, special people around her. Um, not breadcrumbs. Okay? Don't give women breadcrumbs. They will destroy you. Yeah. <laughs> they will leave the house and build the most, the most solid tower. I'm sorry, my, but my accent is like that. <laughs> yeah, she will. She will. She will build a solid tower on her own. And... Um, that's what nature does also. Nature, nature builds itself again and again, no matter the cost. But nature needs help also. And um, there, are, there are so many girls out there that uh, I have the honor of meeting, sharing ideas, stories, meals, be intimate, uh, laugh together, cook together, 
cry, hug, dance together. We are a very strong community. They have shared with me their fears and their past, and I will tell them one more time. This is for you. Are you aware of how powerful you are? You can do miracles. You are strong. Claim your power back. Create life, art, stories, and speak. Speak up. Like Monica did. Like I do now. Never fear to be judged. Never listen to the voices that want you to feel like trash about yourself. Surrender to your calling and not theirs. Yours. Do you. You do you. You will be surprised by how many bright people will come into your life. Some will leave, of course. Only the strongest and the kindest will stand by your side. And this is the thing. The door closes and a billion other doors open. Um, people will block you. Yeah. The people who want to believe only a version of the truth that they think you are, not the true truth. These lazy people, that they make assumptions and they ask the wrong people about you, maybe. This uh, version that someone else told them and yeah, let them do that. The truth is going to be revealed one day. Don't worry, it will. But, but I want to wrap it up now um, by saying that, uh, that the people who stand beside you while facing your battles are the people who will come to the feast and celebrate with you. And they will be so happy for you, so proud for you. Monica reminded me of some things I believe for myself, but I, I have, you know, I have the tendency to forget. Women are gods, kings, spirals. They bring life and light. Well, men do that too, you know, um, but we're talking about women here and... Um, Feminism, according to Monica, will not only, only save women, but also everyone. That's what the people in power fear. So now you know. Listen to this podcast every time you feel bad about something. There's no need, but, you know, we do that to ourselves. We make stories about ourselves and I, I have I have been given so many gifts from you you girls and now it's my turn to help you a little wherever you are London Greece Sweden Canada next room next to my heart so cheesy so me and um, we'll talk soon maybe next week next girl dinner is on me and I owe it to you uh, a less serious girl dinner um, I will talk about a snow queen with an amazing voice also from Sweden and if you want to learn more about Monica's work I left a link in the description box down below this video Thank you for listening. Elskade mycket.